10 lessons and best ideas from the book Unbroken by Laura Elenbrand. 10 lessons and best ideas. Number one, going through difficulties and pains can make us stronger. Exactly. Now, oftentimes when we go through difficulties and challenges and pains and all that, now we see that though when we are going through those situations it's so challenging for us it's so difficult for us but eventually we become stronger we become stronger just like the the gold passing through fire it becomes it, it shines more when it comes out you see so going through challenges and difficulties and pains can actually make us stronger the same way two people go to the gym when you go to the gym uh, and you're going through the process of uh, building your muscles it, 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 it's challenging really it, it, it is painful and then you have to be consistent do it every day go to the gym every day it, it, it's painful it's not easy but the moment you keep doing it and you're consistent even despite the, the pains that you're going through you're gonna come out stronger you know your muscles are gonna become stronger the muscles, your biceps, your triceps, you see. So that is that is what that uh, point is talking about. Then the second point is when someone challenges us with negative words, we do better. Oh, okay. I think I've I've, I've had this experience. You see, sometimes when people challenge us, oh, you cannot do it. Oh, you are not strong enough. Oh, you cannot achieve this that it's like a motivator it's like a challenge for us and then we go ahead and do better and go do what we want to achieve you see uh, sometimes i was reading about uh, michael jordan the the greatest of all times when it comes to uh basketball this giant said he actually got his motivation from his failure when his former coach then when he was in um i think when he was in college told him that oh you, you you're not good you're not fit for 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 playing basketball and the guy was challenged and he was practicing he was consistent he was practicing every day and the guy became so good that he became the greatest of all time became the best basketball player in the entire history of mankind you see that so very important sometimes when people challenge us with negative words we do better that is true number three leaders appreciate people a lot and always look for how they can make people better yeah so uh, that's one thing one unique thing about great leaders because they believe that okay they cannot even be without people around them without people supporting them without people uh working with them so they appreciate people and they always look for how to make them better so leaders are not just leaders leaders are leaders because they make others leaders you see so they always want to see how they can help other people and support them and encourage them to also be like Woody her to also be leaders very important number four comfort doesn't make us grow going out of it does that is right when we are in our comfort zone oh we want to just keep enjoying life oh man it's just good just catching fun everywhere just cozy rosy you know just just feel good enjoy yourself enjoy life but when you are in that in that position when you're in that place you're not gonna grow see, it's when you come out of it that you grow that you get better so coming out of your comfort zone is what makes you grow is what makes you better you see very important uh, number five to get an average job 
To get an average job done is better than to get a perfect job undone. Hmm, that's interesting. So for people who are perfectionists, who always want something, uh, you know, perfect before uh, they can release it out or before they can be satisfied. Yeah, it's good to make things perfect, right? Like, and even the, actually the truth is you cannot make anything perfect. That's just, the, that's just, the, it is a mirage to say you want to make anything perfect. Because you cannot make anything perfect. Really. It cannot be 100%. But of course, you can be close to it, and that doesn't mean you should not aim towards excellence or you should not do well in what you're doing. You just understand that. See, very important, you get better as you keep moving, as you keep doing it. So don't want, don't focus on being the best at first, but focus on progress, focus on improvement, focus on getting better every single time that is that is a secret so when you start don't focus on oh i want to be perfect i want to do everything perfectly let it, everything just be very good be excellent and all that but also appreciate the process appreciate the process so to get an average job done is actually better than to get a perfect job undone because it's not going to make sense anyways. People are not going to appreciate it anyways. You see that? So if you plan to write a book, write it anyways. Even if what you're writing has some grammatical errors, even if it has some itches there and there, write it anyways. Put something down. And maybe later you can get a good editor that's going to help you to edit it. But at least you know you've penned something down. At least you know you've written something that other people can work on or you can still work on by yourself later on you see very important so always focus on getting things done than making things perfect undone all right number six don't be afraid to tell the truth things get better when we tell the truth but don't when we don't tell the truth all right so you see that you don't need to be afraid to tell the truth because we know truth is the only thing that stands the test of time. So if you don't tell the truth, of course, things will get worse, not better. Things will get worse. So having the mind to tell the truth is also like having the mind to solve the problem, to make things better, to let you see, a uh, solution come. That is when you tell the truth. So telling the truth actually makes things better. And not telling the truth actually don't make things better. In fact, it makes things worse. So you must always focus on telling the truth. Number seven, that you start later doesn't mean you can't win better. It will only take determination for you to do so all right so very important i mentioned that uh before that it is important for you to focus on determination like to determine to achieve something you see focus on uh the determination what you want to achieve so that you start something later doesn't mean that you cannot win better that you cannot you cannot succeed you cannot be uh the best that you want to be it's just for you to set your mind determine focused and continue to work on it continue to work towards it progress move forward you see to to always at every time improve yourself to get better at every single time so appreciate the process as you move forward not just the perfection the destination but also the journey also the journey very important uh number eight greed is not good it makes others feel angry and dissatisfied yeah we can see that i mean people who are greedy uh we know we don't like them we don't like them because we feel like they are they are selfish 
the selfish okay so why are you taking everything to yourself when there are people who have not even got something why are you taking everything to yourself that's what's the problem with corrupt politicians a lot of them are so greedy that they just divert all the money into their own pockets and they just leave the, the, the masses in, in poverty. Just leave the masses in poverty. So it is not it is not a good thing and of course it makes people angry, it makes people agitated, it makes people dissatisfied with those with those leaders and with their leadership. Because of course in such situation there's no there's no development there's no growth people are not happy right so greed is not a good thing it is not good number nine don't be monotonous on one thing try new things and spice up your life oh that is interesting so you don't need to always like okay have one particular routine throughout your life oh spice up your life with some other things engage with you know engage in some other activities try something new in this year try something new do something new you see there's no harm in trying at least make attempt to do something there's so many things we can do in life so many things you see so many amazing things even things that are relevant to your dreams and visions and what you want to achieve in life right so always focus on spicing up your life making new adventures doing new things you see so that makes life you know fun and lively and enjoyable very important number 10 we all have a limited time on earth it is better we maximize all the moments We've gotten it. Very important. So we know we all have limited time on earth. Whether you want to be 70 or you want to be 100 or you want to be 120 or whatever age you want to be. Just know that it's all limited. Your time here on earth is limited. And so you should focus on maximizing every moment you have in it. So it still all boils down to the fact that don't just look at the destination also look at where you are right now don't only look at where you want to be also look at where you are right now i mean think of how you can enjoy the moment how you can appreciate how you can maximize every single second of your life every moment that you have so not just to look at okay where you're going but also look at where you are to get to where you're going very important all right so that wraps up the 10 lessons and best ideas in the book uh unbroken by laura Illenbrand. all right so i hope you enjoy the book so please watch out for other books i did uh, the the same thing this the, the 10 lessons and best ideas in this channel and please don't forget to subscribe and like the video also share with your friends that you think this uh sharing this book can benefit and i will see you in the next video thanks for watching and bye for now